Hey everybody, Mike here. In this video, we're pouring a colored concrete patio and we're going to stamp it ashlar slate. So you're going to get to see the stamping process. So right now what Darren's doing is he's mag floating the surface. We're getting out all the bull float lines. We're basically just preparing the surface for the stamping right here. This is what we do. So we'll mag float it, we'll get it nice and smooth, and then we can start dusting this thing. Now we stamp a lot of concrete. We also pour a lot of concrete. Uh, floors, slabs, patios. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If you're a regular viewer, well, thanks for coming back. Now what Darren's doing is he's dusting it. We mostly use powder release on all our stamp jobs. He's using a charcoal release. The concrete has a color of lannan stone in it. It's kind of a tannish type color. Try to go with the house. So the first thing we'll do is we'll dust it and then we'll texture our edges using that little roller. That's a pretty handy little thing. Now what Darren's doing right now is he's setting that first stamp. So that stamp is what we're going to go off from for the rest of the patio because all these other stamps kind of lock into that corner. This is how these Ashler State stamps work. This, these stamps are from Butterfield. There's all kinds of different manufacturers of this type of stamp, but we like this Butterfield one. It's a pretty big one, so it covers a lot of ground. The stamps are pretty rigid, so you can walk on them pretty nicely without sinking down through. As you can see, Luke right there is walking right on it. And they got these nice handles for setting, so they that makes it stamping pretty easy. The whole key to stamping is just timing, when knowing when to get on it. You don't want to be too early. You don't want to leave uh, uh, divots in there with your feet. You can see he's wearing some stamping shoes now. You can step right in those. They got really nice flat soles. Though so those help make it easier for stamping also. Now the concrete's not hard enough yet to use a tamper. We'll, you'll see that a little bit later on in the video. You're also going to get to see us clean and wash this, uh, saw cut it, and then seal it at the end of the video. So you're going to get to see the complete process of the stamping right here. Now right now, I'm out front stamping a walkway, so the guys are just using like two-thirds of this set. And when, as soon as I get done with that walkway, I'll bring out the rest of the stamps. And then we'll be able to go right completely across this whole patio, which, which makes it kind of nice when you can set your next stamp off from one of the other stamps. You're less likely to, to run off that way. You can see how Luke's setting those stamps right there off from each other. And this is basically how we do the stamping process. He's got a touch-up tool with him. He's touching up some of the joints if he needs to. He'll continue the joints up to the foundation. The powdered release is a little bit messy, but we like the way it leaves the finished product when we're all done sealing. You can see I'm done out front now, and you'll you know this is part two, part one of this series is us pouring the colored concrete. I'll have a link for that at the end of the video if you want to check out the pour. Uh, as soon as you get done watching this one, it's pretty interesting to, the way we pour colored concrete also. T is over there on the edges just making sure that the edges are all done good, uh, broadcasting some release for us. There isn't really room for four people out there, <laughs> not, at least not four people our size anyway. With three people, you can move along pretty fast on something like this. This is about a, it was about an 800 square foot patio and walkway.
we are washing the back patio. Ashler slate, stamped concrete. We got land and stone for a color, and then we use the deep charcoal release. This is what it's going to end up looking like. We're not quite done washing it yet. We still got to scrub it, but this is the beginning of the washing. The release powder washes off pretty good, but you still got to scrub it with some. We use Dawn dish detergent. That's going to get most of it off, so that way when you go to seal it, your sealer doesn't fail. See how nice that looks, though. Hey guys, so to seal our stamp concrete, we're using Decocrete's D1 penetrating sealer plus an acrylic compound. So it penetrates down into the concrete and it leaves a, a sheen on the surface so it, you kind of get the best of both worlds for protection. It can be used for stamp. They got it for pool decks, colored concrete here, overlays, exposed aggregate. So uh, it's it's a pretty versatile sealer. We're liking it. It's uh, it, you know really pops the color on the on the stamp concrete once you give it two or three coats. We always use a stainless sprayer when we do it. But this is the sealer we've been using right now, guys. Deco Crete's D1. So we ended up giving this three coats to finish it off. Here's what it's going to look like right here in a minute. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Come on back, and we'll see you on the next one.